Hi friends, week nine of the Inside Out Life devotions as promised. We are going fortnightly for the next little while. We'll see how that rhythm goes. Uh, but today I just really wanted to look at the idea of, of worship or worship, uh, which is where the word comes from, the old English word for worship, worship, where we put our worth and ask the question today uh, of all of us, and myself absolutely included in this, what is our one thing? The one thing we desire, the one thing we think about most, the one thing we give the majority of our attention and our energy to, what consumes our thoughts? Is it God? Is it the things of God? Is it a longing for intimacy with Him as we are gonna read in the Psalms? And if it's not, what is it? What, are the, what is the one thing that is at the center of your heart? We read from Psalm 27 verse 4. And we read this earlier uh, in the series, but I just it's one of my favorite Psalms. And we read, One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on his beauty, on the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. And also later in Psalm 84, verse 2, we read, My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh cry out for the living God. For the psalmists that were writing these psalms, especially that last psalm we read, Psalm 84, we can see that there is this longing to be in the place where God was. And, and later he talks about, uh, those who have set their hearts on pilgrimage in verse 5. For the people of Israel in this time, the, the temple was the place where they met God, where they gathered together to meet God in a very special way, the tabernacle and then the temple. And in their times of worship together, you know, there'd be certain times throughout the year, certain festivals and feasts, and there were times where they would journey together, they would do a pilgrimage, a journey together, and they would... Uh, journey to the temple to worship God for these special feasts and they became these times where they would encounter God in a very special and intimate way. Nowadays for us, for those who love and believe in Jesus, you know, he says that he gives us his Holy Spirit. His Holy Spirit lives in us. So in fact, we become, you know, the new temple, the temple of the Holy Spirit. And this means we have access to the Holy Spirit anytime you know, wherever we are, we can access his presence, he's living in us, working through us. But my question is, do we have the same hunger, that same desperation as we've read in the Psalms? My soul yearns, even faints for God. Do we have that desperation to be with him, to set aside time for him and to commune with him? And even in our gathered worship times together, these are very special times where we can encounter God in really significant ways and his, by his spirit. But do we have that same hunger and desperation to go and worship with God's people? Or is it just that thing we do on Sundays? I remember when I was a, a kid, I became a Christian around the time of 13 or 14. And I just remember I used to hang out to be with my Christian friends. I just wanted to go Fridays and Sundays. They were the days I, I would hang out for because Fridays was youth group and Sundays was church. You know, there was this, just this um, hunger and this craving to be around God's people and to encounter God together because there was a very special sense of, of God's presence when we were together. It had nothing to do with the KFC that we used to get after church every Sunday night. But there was this, just this yearning, this desire. They were my favorite days of the week. Pastor Louis Giglio, who founded the Passion Movement in the US, I just love this movement so much. And he suggests that we all worship something and says worship is our response to God. Our worship is our response to what we value most. Worship is that thing we all do. Our response to what we value most. What we value most is where we will put our time, our energy, our finances, our resources, and we all worship something. We all have a one thing, a one thing that is the most important thing in our lives. So the question today is, is that one thing the living God? Is it intimate relationship 
with our God. Just one response today to consider. And, you know, if you get a moment, maybe just take stock of the last 24 hours, the last day, or even the last week. Try and have a think about what has consumed your thoughts the most. What has been in your heart? What have you thought about? Where has your time and energy, when you've had control over your time and energy, where has it gone? And has Jesus been at the centre of that? If he hasn't, what else has there been? To finish today, I want to lead us in a prayer from Mother Julian of Norwich, who was an ancient mystic uh, from the 1400s, with a beautiful prayer. I'm just going to read it to finish. God of thy goodness, give me thyself, for thou art enough for me. And I can ask for nothing less that can be full of honour to thee. And if I ask anything that is less, ever shall I be in want, for only in thee have I all. Have a great week and let's invite God to be our one thing this week. See you in a fortnight.